this an old school Honda. Needs a tune up, some carb clean up. And she's good to go. Runs and drives, but uh, bogs a bit. So we're getting at it. And uh, get up the back good to new. Get in there and take the carb out. Got some spectators today. Adira, Rolo. And maybe we'll uh, work on this bad boy today too. Oh, I don't work on this one. It runs and drives. Carbs do need to clean, but you know what? She's good for now. Kind of forgot to record, but bolt. 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 More bolts. Just trying to get the plastics off so that I can drain the gas tank. Read the carb and hopefully get this thing back to running tip top shape. Got the gas tank off and ended up cutting the hose because it was pissing fuel out of there. Well, the fuel line is old. Kind of looks like the pit cocks a little build, build up too in there. Definitely needs a good clean. Gas tank's really easy. One bolt, two bolt. After you get all these other bolts kind of undone. Now, access the carburetor. I don't wonder why the gas was coming out. I said I had the pet cock off, but uh, it was still on. Turns out it let me know that the fuel line had a hole in it because it leaked all that gas from the broken fuel line. Got the spark plug out. Looks. Uh Oh, gross. Eighteen mil. Got the carb off. I did this Phillips screw to take this off of there. Another Phillips screw here. No, Phillips screw over here to pop the whole carb off. Two screws come out. Now he's got to take this off so then I can take the carb out of here. Go outside where it's ventilated so I'm not getting all and uh, clean it kind of gross in there when you look at it. Definitely need the cleaning. Kind of forgot to record, but bolt, 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 bolt. Trying to get the plastics off so that I can drain the gas tank, read the carb, and hopefully get this thing back to running tip top shape. Put the gas tank off, I ended up cutting the hose because it was pissing fuel out of there. Well, the fuel line is old. Kind of looks like the pet cocks, a little build, build up too in there. Definitely needs a good clean. Gas tank's really easy. One bolt, two bolt, after you get all these 
these other bolts kind of undone. Well, that's just the carburetor. I don't wonder why the gas was coming out. Should I had the pet cock off, but uh, it was still on. Turns out it let me know that the fuel line had a hole in it because it leaked all that gas from the broken fuel line. Got the spark plug out. Looks. Uh so gross. Just got the carb off. I did this Phillips screw to take this off of there. Another Phillips screw here. No, Phillips screw over here to pop the whole carb off. Two screws come out. Now we just gotta take this off. So then I can take the carp out of here, go outside where it's ventilated, so I'm not getting all and uh, clean it. Kind of gross in there when you look at it. Definitely need the cleaning. So back to get back onto this here. Got the carb off, like I said the other day. Now we're just gonna stroll over here and start kind of taking things apart. Try some of the things that I need. Two hands. So I'm able to try to do this like this then. Using my knees, I kind of get uh, these screws undone. Oops, there's a gas there. Let's see what else I gotta undo for that. Well, I guess that whole piece is part of the float or oh, bowl. <clears throat> so we got one there. This one here, and we should be able to take this bowl off and then clean up the inside of this. I'm gonna guess it's pretty green. So, going to take those out, and then once I get this off, I will start filming again. Just need two hands already covering gas, don't want to drop the phone. So, bear with me. I got the four screws there and done. Looks like it. Wants to come out, but I should just undo this. Kind of hitting here a bit, right? Why do I want to fucking fight with it? Now let's see if I can do this. Like this. Let's try and get up there a bit. No, we need to get the bigger one. Let's walk over here. Big Phillips. That'd be the big one. Right, let's walk back over here. I really should just set up my tools and pitch it together instead of being all over the place, but you know. Oh, 
Sorry about that, guys, but I finally got it. It was tight. I still had Loctite on it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See that? See the Loctite? That's uh, probably from the aluminum, actually. Oxidation. So we got that. That out of our way, idle screw or whatever you want to put to it as. Oh, oh yeah, look at that green, gross. Definitely gonna be doing some carb clean. Oh yeah, just totally green in here. Not good. That's okay. Plastic float bowls. You know what that means? They're not rusty. Ah. Like the old guys, they were brass, so they'd rust out. You'd have to heat up some lead. Put it on there. Try to make sure it doesn't get too weighted. Because you really do need these to float. So, uh, I'm going to go wash up my hands because I got gas all over them. Uh, and have a tea and then I'll be back at this in a minute so see you guys soon ah, sorry guys I forgot I didn't unscrew this here so I just unscrewed it I'm gonna pull it out my bad I'm trying to like record everything as I do it so not only can I show you guys but uh, that I also have a memory of it because you know lots of projects on the go don't always uh, get back to them right away so there you go, that piece fell out. And I bet you if we were to try to blow through it or like look through it, these little holes. Just like before, there's a couple little holes on this one. So there you go, see, a couple little holes. They need to be clean. All right, every little thing in here. Look, look on my hands. Look, that's just gross. That's off the carb. That's trying to pump through these little orifices and create power. Well, guess what? You're not creating power when you got crap like this in there. So, well, I'm gonna definitely get this all cleaned up. Get it running tip-top shape for buddy because. When you have these machines, it's nice to rip these machines, right guys? So, let's get this thing ripping again. Because as soon as it's back together ripping, I get to take it for a test drive. And we just so happen to have one of the bestest backyards that we get to have fun in. Nobody can say anything because, it, hey, it's our backyard. So, yeah. Can you see in there? No, let me get the flashlight because you can't see in there. And I'm going to almost guarantee you it's probably pretty green in there too, guys. Can we see in there? Oh, yeah, there you go. You can see in there now, right, guys? Not the bestest, but you're seeing it just as good as I'm seeing it. But you can see on the edge there, there's like... A little bit of crud and stuff, right? We need to get all, all that out of there. Look at all that green up the top there, guys. Like, look at all this green right up in here. Can you see it? Can you see it there? Yeah, here, let me get a little pokey stick. There's my little pokey stick. I just grabbed a pokey stick. So I walked over and grabbed more tools. You know, I should have just take a few minutes and just put them all back in the box and bring the box over, but look at this, guys. Look at that. That's trying to go through the carb. Right? Like, that's... In, like, easy layman's terms, in a sense, this crud is like having a four-story coiler in your toilet and you're trying to flush it. It's not going down. And if it's not going down, the gas isn't going up. So, remember, good fuel, stabilizers, or just... Fire up the machine and rip it once a week. So, uh, you need to take this one out too. I just went and got this little screwdriver because the head just happens to be. Oh, 
that's gonna be our air fuel we should uh, probably count those rotations right so let's count this one two three four Oh, well, four is not quite out, so it's a half. That's five. Six. So right about six turns. Oh, it's got kind of an O ring, so maybe we're not so having to worry about the amount of turns. But look at this, guys. Look at the little needles. It's all got to be cleaned out. Hello. Okay, I'll be right there. I'm just in the garage doing. I'm just in the gar garage doing carb stuff. So I'll be right there. Okay. Bye. Okay, I just gotta go to Johnny in the garage here, guys. My electrician's here, so I'll be back. Kind of cruddy looking, right? A little cruddy. Well, it's all getting cleaned anyhow, right? So why would we leave that in and not clean it? So we're cleaning it. Oh, these are all the pieces. You build a car? Yeah. You do that stuff? Yeah. Nice. All the hey, pieces right there. My, uh, you all still right? My uh, saw, I guess. Well, started cleaning it, just ran some carb cleaner in there, just swashing around. And then I forgot that I should just go grab something a little bit more cleaner-ish. Sprayed some in here, cleaned her out a bit. It is working. We want to get it clean, clean, right? So, we'll go grab some diesel and give her some cleaning solutions. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Shit. Sorry, I just been cleaning up here. Getting those all clean. Got that still soaking. It was it seemed like it might still be a little dirty. The hole seems kind of small, but might be the right size. Yeah, it's gonna spray it out afterwards. Just scrubbing this up. I was thinking, damn, you know, I'm kind of bored here, just sitting in the garage all by myself. Thinking, wait a second, I could be talking to you guys. So here I am, just Clean away. Wiping it, cleaning it, you know, getting it ready to go back together. So anybody can pick it up tomorrow and take it out for the weekend, I'm guessing, and go have some fun. Might just take this apart a little bit more and let it soak itself. Cause there's still a couple of screws I didn't take out. Still can deal with this pump later, but diaphragm's no good then. I kind of fucked myself, so just gonna remove this screw here. And uh, yeah. Ch -ch -ch so I got this. Cleaned out pretty good. There's a little bit left in there, but like without the ultrasonic cleaner, maybe a pain in the ass. But way cleaner now. I sprayed all the tubes out. I took out that last screw, sprayed out there, which goes into there. I cleaned all of that out. Pulled that out because it was easier to clean this out. So now it's pretty clean. There, nice and clean in there. That was completely green. Thought it was brass, that's how green it was. So, I've just been needing two hands. So, just slowly putting things back together here. Bear with me, guys. I'm new to this. Just not new to cleaning carbs or 
any of that, but new to this, trying to film and talk and work all on shit at the same time. But, you know, you gotta... Little marketplace rebuilder, a little bit of uh, what's another one? Oh, Craigslist rebuild, that too. So that's pretty much the bowl area done, I believe. Now, grab this other piece out of here. I don't really want to grab it out of the diesel. I'm trying to keep my hands somewhat out of the diesel. It's kind of not what I'd like to actually have my hands in, right? It's, kind of, it's good for cleaning stuff. Super cleaning. Okay, I'm gonna go see if I can find something to stick in this hole. I'm kind of clean, clean this out a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back. So, again, I went back to using two hands and forgetting to record at the same time. But I got them all back in there, opposite of what I took them out as. So, if you really need to figure it out just play it backwards I actually went back into a couple videos myself and just made sure I had things where they wanted to go even though they kind of only go back in one spot so now I can open up this top end and see how green things are in there it should be pretty clean I shouldn't have to really do much there I might just have to give it a little tss -tss -tss. clean a little scrubby scrub other than that it should just almost be ready to go back on fill up with fuel and Go bop, 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 and spin some mud. So, I will try to record some more for you guys. Uh, like I said, it's probably going to be one of the first couple videos I put out. Uh, just write some shit below, and we'll go from there. If you have any questions, again, throw it in the comments. I'll try to answer them. I'm going to do the best I can. Thanks, guys. Be back. So like I said, shouldn't it be too bad, just a little to clean stuff out. Looks pretty decent. So, I always give it a little clean out and should be good to go. So, uh, I'm just going to get back at cleaning the little carburetor out here. This is where the ultrasonic cleaner would be really good. Just dump this in there and let it... And it would be really clean. So, down the road, that's how I'll be doing them. But for now, we'll just... And be good. It's going to rip again, so that's all that really matters. That's all he wants. Optimal performance. So, even if he has to come back next winter to get it an ultrasonic clean, and then just take better care of it, because it's probably just going to get put away with gas in it on the winter time. Next winter. Or in the summer when it's not being used. So, we'll sh we shall see. I'll be back. A little clean, clean. Uh, so, I give it a little clean and a little wipe. So, it's better than it was. So, now we're going to bolt it back together and see how she goes. Maybe give the outside a clean. Looks kind of grudgy. I got to get a new fuel line too for this thing because the fuel line was a little crappy. It started leaking out of there if you guys remember at the beginning maybe I will just put a clip in from earlier 
if I've got it of it leaking. I don't think I got a picture of it leaking, but I got the video clip of or a picture of where it was leaking before. Anyhow, it was out of this line. I thought I turned off the pet clock. Turns out I didn't. I moved the tank. All of a sudden, I'm like, oh, why has it got gas all over here? Look up, and there's like a stream coming out of this hose. So I figured, hey, if it's got a hole in it, I might as well just cut it, right? So, yeah, we'll get that new fuel line on there, too. But, yeah, it's getting there. So, I got the carb on. I'm about to start recording again. And I looked down and I forgot. I gotta put the cable back on. Put the black plate back on. So, guys, sometimes, you know, it's kind of later at night tonight. Just want to get this job done so I can be out having fun on the weekend. And I should have just taken an extra second just to confirm that I had everything done. But instead, I just kind of rushed it, right? You know. You know how it is, get a job almost close to being done and then try to rush the end and keep caught rushing it. Okay, I got you guys there. Hopefully this works. I'm just gonna try to get this all together now. I just didn't want to do the jam nuts, so that was the easiest thing for me to do, was do it like that, I guess. Even though, technically, I kind of had to undo the jam nut, because it didn't really go. I need to go there. I don't go like that. back together now guys. Oh yeah, drained out the gas tank. I didn't really film that. I didn't really want to drop my phone in the gas container. I'm not saying I got bad luck guys, but like Homer Simpson song about bad luck, yeah. Kind of fit sometimes. But I was having some pretty good luck, like I kind of want to trade pretty good. And <clears throat> get a lot of good deals that way, so sometimes you just gotta take the win for losing, right? I got the fuel line off to try to maybe make that or see how the fuel line's gonna work. You get the fuel, the carb going in here. I'm gonna tighten up this stuff here, make sure that it's seated in here properly. I'm just gonna do this clamp up nice and 
Gundheit. Hey, my father always used to say, that's what they call a German virgin, son. Ha oh, ha, Gundheit. Like it's stiff. Hi, Adira.
fresh fire up with the cleaned carb. Oh yeah. 